So now let's talk about short circuit evaluation, sometimes referred to as lazy evaluation. So there are these bitwise AND and bitwise OR operators. So rather than having two ampersands in a row to represent AND, you can just have one or one pipe symbol to represent OR. And it looks similar to logical AND and logical OR, but they just have one of these characters instead of two. And the difference is that the, the double AND and the double OR character performs short circuit evaluation, whereas the bitwise AND and OR do not. In short circuit evaluation, the second argument is executed or evaluated only if the first argument does not suffice to determine the value of the expression. And let me try to explain what that means through example. So let's say we had some variables for temperature. It's 75 degrees and Boolean is raining. It's true. And we could do something like if the temperature is greater than 70 and is raining. This is true. System dot out dot print line. It's nice outside, but bring in umbrella. Okay. So that's going to print out that it's nice outside, but bring an umbrella because it's raining. So what's happening is temperature is greater than 70. This is true. And this is true. So let's say the temperature was 35 degrees. So looking at this expression now, this first part before the logical and is false. Temperature is not greater than 70. So we know right away that this entire expression is false. So does it even make sense to look and, and check if it's raining or not? You don't have to evaluate that expression anymore. Short circuit evaluation by using the double and sign determines that since the first expression is false, we don't need to evaluate and even look at the second expression and we and we can just skip it and and just not execute this statement because this entire expression is false. But if you use the bitwise and, then it's going to evaluate both sides regardless if, if the first expression was true or false. And I don't know why anybody would do that. It doesn't really make sense why you would evaluate both sides, but it's possible. And you can simply do that by using the, the bitwise AND. But you should always use the double AND and the double OR because it does the short circuit evaluation. So let's change this expression to say something different. So I'm going to comment this out. So if the temperature is less than 60 or it's raining. That's true. Stay inside. So either one has to be true. If it's less than 60 or it's raining, you want to stay inside. So let's run the program and it tells you to stay inside because it's true that it's raining. And it's also true that the temperature is less than 60. But even if the temperature was 95, it'll still tell you to stay inside because it's raining. That's because we're using the logical OR operator. If this is true, OR this is true. And so that means if either side is true, then the entire expression becomes true. So let's make temperature 35 and make is raining to false. So we know right away that this is true. So we don't have to evaluate whether or not it's raining. We're already staying inside because the temperature is 35 degrees. So we don't have to evaluate as raining because of the short circuit evaluation. The double or says then forget about this, don't even evaluate it, and just print out that you should stay inside. But if you had the single or sign, the bitwise or, it'll evaluate both expressions on either side of it, which doesn't make sense. So you should always use the short circuit version of the or operator, the logical or.